I went, oh, look at me. I'm here with my cam girl. My cam girl, guys, guess who she is? Angel, the cam girl, guys. So you guys said she has a steady hand. And let's see today how steady are her little hands. It looks very steady to me. I, I hope she's gonna follow my example, zooming, zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, guys, today I wanna talk about a very interesting topic. Uh, which is, uh, you know, as you guys know, or maybe not know, I'm very interested in martial arts, all kinds of martial arts. It doesn't matter if it's boxing, if it's wrestling, if it's kung fu, if it's aikido, if it's judo, if it's uh, Thai boxing, if it's Filipino martial arts. Filipino martial arts, by the way, is very interesting, guys, and I'm, I'm, I want to talk more about that in another video. Uh, so I'm interested in all martial arts, all martial arts with weapons, knives, uh, sticks, em empty hand, guns. I was also in the army, as you guys know. I was in the uh, intelligence school, South African intelligence school back in the 80s. I was in the war zone of Angola uh, and uh, Namibia. And we, uh, we had a lots of different training, okay? So I'm interested in all of that. I did some bodyguard jobs in my time and I did a lot of training. I, uh, I, de I developed my own, what I call survival training, urban survival course. So probably I'm gonna start putting this urban survival training course online because it's all about uh, anti-terrorism, anti-kidnapping, anti-ambush, uh, anti-hostage, uh, how to defend yourself, how to survive. Um, it's, it's all about survival, it, you know, a gang attack, a single attack, a crazy guy, a serial killer, um, just a, ro a gang of robbers, a robber, people with, with arms, with knives, with guns, whatever, right? Or, or if they kidnap you, what do you do? So, uh, especially for ladies, this is very, very, very useful. Uh, escapes, uh, staying alive, defending yourself, getting away, uh, mass shooting, school shootings, um, bombings, ambushes, ambushes. This is, this is my course um, that, I, that I taught for quite a few years in China. Can you come closer because it's very noisy? It's a little bit closer. If they can hear me, can you guys hear me well? Sorry, the traffic is now rushing by here. Okay, guys. So today, um, the age-old question. The age-old question is: um, uh, What? Which martial art is the best? Okay, which martial art is the best? And if you ask this question, immediately you can throw a, a rock into a hornet's nest. Millions of hornets are gonna come out. Each one gonna buzz around, you know, zoom around, and everybody has an opinion. Okay. Now, if you ask me, which martial art is the best? I'm gonna tell you right away. Not, not one. There is not one that is totally 100% adequate. Okay. If you learn one single martial art, it is. It, it may be adequate for certain situations, but it won't be adequate for many other situations. Okay. That is my simple answer. So, each and every martial art in the world is adequate for a certain purpose, a certain time, a certain moment in time, a certain moment in time. To fully understand martial arts, it's much better if you if you understand something about. Um, I would I would highly recommend Buddhism, especially Zen Buddhism. If you understand Zen, then you then you begin to understand what is martial arts all about. And I know it sounds crazy, but Zen Buddhism. So there are only two books, two books that I could ever recommend to you, recommend to you guys to read about martial arts. The first book is one of the, I think it's considered to be the oldest book in the history of the world, the Tao Te Ching. Uh, it's spelled T-A-O, Tao, but it's pronounced Tao in Chinese, Tao Te Ching, which is the way, the way. It's actually the way of the world. But martial arts is part of our world, it's part of our philosophy, it's part of our daily life, daily routine. If you go back, so this book is very old, it's over 2,000 years old, the Tao Te Ching, 2,500 years old. And it's a, it's, 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 it's a very, if, if, you can, if you can understand the Tao Te Ching, your mind will be ready for martial arts. Mentally you will be ready. Now, the only other book that I would recommend that's as good, and in some ways better, would be the Book of the Five Rings. The Book of the Five Rings by uh, Mushashi, Miyamoto Mushashi, who was a samurai, a Japanese samurai. 
he, it's reckoned that he, that he had over, he had around about 100 duels, duel. Now, if you go back 500 years, a duel at that time me, me, meant a fight to the death. So that in, in reality, he had over 100 duels. Some of them were one opponent, some of them were two or multiple opponents, fighting with long swords, short swords, or, or any weapon. So, to, if you read that book, which uh, and he was he is the most famous swordsman to come out of Japan. He, he faced a hundred, minimum a hundred guys, and he never got killed. Well, obviously, he, and he killed a lot of guys. So, so he he was an amazing uh, martial artist, fighter, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, if you want to understand martial arts, I really recommend both are small books. Uh, you can read them on the toilet while you're sitting on the on the loo. You can easily read both, and it's enjoyable reading on the loo. I love reading on the loo, by the way, guys. So you, you, I, I recommend you go out and buy today. Uh, Dao De Ching. I will, I will, I will put the name down down below. Dao De Ching, written by Lao Tzu, and then uh, of course the Book of the Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi or Miyashi Miyamoto. No, Miyamoto Musashi. Uh, is that his first name? I forgot. Anyway, Musashi was his last name. So these two books are amazing. And this will put you in the right frame of mind to start training martial arts. Because it's all, like Buddha said, everything begins in your mind. Everything starts in your mind. Okay, so then let's follow up now again with the same question. What is the best martial art? So once you've read these books, once you understand a little bit about Zen Buddhism, uh, Buddha said, everything is change. Everything is changing. Every single moment is a different moment. So when you look at the world right now, I look at the highway, there goes, a, there goes a pickup truck, there goes a silver pickup truck, there goes a, there goes a red car, there goes a truck, there goes a motorcycle. Every single moment there are different vehicles passing by here. And so that's the same in life. Every, every moment is different. And it's same in martial arts. Martial art means fighting, a fighting art. So it doesn't matter, uh, today we have these, we have many, uh, what, what we can call martial, sport, uh, martial arts sports. Boxing, boxing was one of the first. Martial arts sports goes back to ancient Greek, the, 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 the Olympics, uh, you know, when they, they had wrestling, Greek wrestling and stuff. I think they may have had boxing, I don't remember. The Romans had the Roman games, the, you know, where the gladiators, where they killed each other, fight, fighting, most of, not always to the death, of course not. But that, that, was the, that was the, and of course in the Far East, you had martial arts in Africa, you had, you had hunting and martial arts. Africa has many martial arts. People don't, don't even know that. African martial arts are really amazing. Um, there are many martial arts spread around the world, including here in the Philippines, guys. Very good martial arts here. Amazing martial arts. Now, as a kid, I started learning. My father was a boxer, a very good boxer. He was a police boxer. I think he was a champion in the police. Uh, then um, I, I really enjoyed wrestling. Very rough, you know, with the farm workers, the black boys with the big muscles. Every weekend we had a lot of competition, boxing, farm work, uh, wrestling. We would pelt each other with stones, beat each other with sticks. So for me, that was, and, and, and then I did hunting, a lot of hunting, shooting, trapping with dogs. So for me, that was kind of, and, and riding horses and going on and on, playing rugby, guys. Don't forget, I think rugby in many ways is similar to a martial art, rugby, the good old rugby, you know. So for, you, so for me as a kid, that was, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that was the beginning of what I would call martial arts. And then at school, I had a lot of fights. No, nobody liked me. It's still the same today. Nobody likes me. So, so I, I had a lot of fights then and I, I continue all my life to add a lot of street fights and gang fights and all, uh, you know, I'm going to write a book about it, guys. I, I promise, I keep telling you about my books. Keep an eye out for them. So guys, I want you to send me questions, any questions you have, and I will start to make live shows about, and then discuss all martial arts. I want to take questions and stuff. I want uh, Angel to, Angel, can you show me, can you show us the tree here? This is my favorite tree in the world right now, guys. Um, I want to, I want to uh, high up this. I'm going to tie up this, uh,
range, I don't know. So if I, all, you, all you want to practice are short kicks to the, to the nuts. You know, nuts you know. If you do your normal stuff here, you know, you can pull, hit, block, block, slap, bring it in, hit, a little kick, um, elbow. So I, I have to work out how to use this tire. I haven't, I haven't used it yet. But I imagine you can use these here. Um, small kicks, small little kicks. Like this, with the, the knee in front of this, when you're on a crest. Just try a little kick. Right here, try a little kick here. And you can practice a little So I'm just trying to build up my repertoire here, guys. Um, elbow. So I'm gonna put up a um, piece of rubber or something here so you can maybe here I can throw some throw some punches. As I have as I've said before, using and guys please um, I, I hope there are martial artists watching this, but the main difference, the main 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 difference between a ring sport like boxing, MMA or whatever and the fight arts out here is our hands here are not protected it's just like this you, you, you look at boxing you see these guys throwing crazy punches you know it, it looks it looks fucking great and it is great why why can they do that because their hands are very tightly bandaged and then they put a glove on it so they can swing they can walk up to this tree and just go whack and nothing will happen right if i go and do that to that tree now fuck there will be blood my skin will be gone and probably maybe a broken bone so this is the reality of real fighting as opposed to fighting in a boxing ring or even mma they also have gloves right there is no protection out here that's why um If you can't have gloves, use something else. Because if, if you have a glove, you can just swing and hit as much as uh, any way you want, right? But if you don't have a glove, you can still fucking hit with this. You're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt your hands. You, if you understand my my thinking, when it comes to the street, when it comes to gangs, when it comes to some uh, assaults, m uh, attempted murder, kidnapping, robberies, ra uh, attempted rapes, guys. There are no fucking rules. That's the first thing you're gonna get out of your head, and I will discuss this to the great lengths later on. Okay? There are many kinds of martial arts, right? So we're gonna discuss them all one by one. But for example, ninjutsu. I know some people will laugh, but ninjutsu is very, very important. It's another mental thing. Okay? So I will discuss this in much more detail. I just want to make an introduction here today, guys. I just want to give you simple, basic information. Let's follow that up with a little live stream. I will put it up on my YouTube channel. And I will give it a time and a date, and then I want you guys to come up and maybe ask some questions. We discuss it. I love to hear more opinions about it. If, no matter what is your martial arts, if it's judo, boxing, MMA, Wing Chun, Kung Fu, Karate, Thai boxing, Taekwondo, Hip Hop Kido, uh, weapons. Uh, if you are a soldier, if it's whatever, guys, come on and let's talk about it and let's enjoy it. Okay because there are so many opinions and we can actually learn from each other okay and uh, we can just have a great discussion guys so okay that's all i want to say and i want to thank our little camera lady there cam go thank you Angel. <laughs> i hope it was good don't blame me but uh, i know you guys are gonna tell me she did a great job so remember whatever you can find look at that your problems are solved So, so yeah, a good. Uh, if you don't have those boxing gloves, get yourself a little weapon. And they're everywhere. That's another thing we're gonna discuss. Okay, guys. I wanna thank you so much. Shaolin. <laughs> okay, they're gonna shoot me. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye.